Hi friends, this is Felix Kinonia. Today we will discuss about how to pass the value from controller to view in JK Grid using JK Grid. So last week we have seen how to create simple JK Grid. So now we will see how to use or how to pass the values from controller to JK Grid using entity frameworks. So now this is my application we have last 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 video we have seen this these details so this is the simple jk grid so first of all we need to create tables within the database so here i have already created the table table name is user details and this is i have just entered the sample records so these are these three is the sample records and my table name is user details so this is the simple table so now we have to display from this table values into check a grid okay so okay okay uh, we have finished the table so now we need to create the class file so here this is the solution and we need to go for model folder because this model folder contains class details so I have already used account models class so I'm just double click and here by the end I have used user details class so this is my class I'm just using simple declared simple ID and the name and then address so after we create the class we need to connect the database with this class so that's why I am using here this is the this is the data set this is for connection string like uh, um, HPM so use this one you can directly connect the value data from tables to classes so you cannot use this one these details will be we cannot get it from the database so this is the main one so you can just create it this database strings okay so just using public data set and user details then this is the object for this particular user details and then I'm using the get and set method we have finished the classes and table files table and classes files so now we'll go to the controller now I go to the controller folder then I already created the test controller so this is we have seen in the previous videos so here I'm going to start the passing value details. See before, before that we need to discuss user contacts. So here this is the user contacts class. Inside this user contact class we have added this user details object. So first we need to create the object for user contacts class. So I have already created through this object only you can get the values from these user details table okay table and classes so now I'm going to write how to pass the values so first I'm using integer for page then then I have to get the values from the table using var usd object so I'm using uc object this is for context class then I'm using user object need to select using a arrow mark So we will no not need this one. Now 
now I need to display only three values do a dot ID any dot name any dot address so these three values I need to display in check it so next one is I'm using so count then need to create the variable for portal pages so can you use this one now the error will be out then need to add Total records slash page rows. So before that, we need to add. to open bracket and then close bracket so we need a integer value so I'm using int then we need to semicolon for this so next I'm using math dot So I'm using so what is the error? Need to create float. Then here also I need to create float. Okay, so now there is rectified. The same this okay. We need to remove this. Okay, now let's open. So now we need to use designing and assigning other details. So now here I'm using if condition so in this insert if condition we need sort order like this here sort order dot so everything you can convert into topper so it will be useful for you because sometimes it will be take case sensitive so I'm using descending so if the reasoning is I'm using this <coughs> object sorry so object good object dot order by descending so based on name so this is a descending based on name then I need to add skip dot skip tick so first using page index this is using here and then I take rows. So now the error is out. So next in L spot. The L spot 
we can just copy these details and just paste it here you can just order by use you can just uh, using the order by details they can save and it will be appeared so now we need to pass the value array value json string so now creating a variable called json data equal to new this is the string array format so you should pass this type of this so total equal to total page so next the put page then this records so need to display this in jq grid so next one is rows rows equal to object sorry object sorry now we need to pass this string array object into here so first i will tell you one more thing one more time <coughs> here this is the page index you can just minus it and you can get the values here and then this part we will get the values we will select the values from this particular table then these things we are using ascending or descending order if it is ascending order you can just using the order by the descending sorry descending order you can use just uh, just using the descending descending order by descending the next one is order by simple you can base row names here i'm using the names base row names it will be displaying uh, which which you can choose it so this is this is the common string array json json array json array so you can use json details to pass the value like this so here we have finished the we have finished even our controller side so now we will go to the page so how to you how to get the values from controller in page so i have already used this script simple script now we can just add the little bit course so it will be work perfectly so now I'm going to get the values JSON reader. So this is the important one. So now I'm root rows. Then page page and total total and records yes. this details are it's these details are available in control repeat items also. so we don't need to repeat any items so currently id is zero start from zero so now i have now i have finished all the details so i have finished the course so here there is some error okay we need to forget colon okay now everything is okay everything is okay you can just uh, last video uh, here i'm using the calculator so <coughs> so please Fine here using is URL for small. So now we need to run the solution. So now the solution is running. So simple steps. So now once the, once the solution is running, so first it will call the index method, then it will call the test jQuery method. So now the solution is running. Okay. Now the solution is ready, ready to use. So before that, we need to go to the controller page, then I can put debugger here. 
just press F9. So now I'm putting F9 in method. So now, see here, we need to uh, call the method. So first, I will put the controller name. My controller name is test. Then my method name is index. So I'm just put entering. So the value here, the method is called. So here, the row is 20. Then index. So empty. So the ascending added. This is page 1. So first, I will put F10. This is 0 page. Then I can get the values. I have selected the values from the table. Then here I am using ascending adder. So it will take L spot. So it's finished. And this is the JSON. And this is the JSON array. So now the JSON array is running. Here this is the part is JSON. Then this is the final records. Here. This is the final records. See these are the things we have already see, uh, usually in here. So based on these things, you will get the values from here. So now everything is ready. Now I can run it so here. Here in the records will be displayed like this. So this is a simple and very useful. I hope it will be very useful for you. And guys, in next video we will see how to use code application in our JK grid. So this is a simple JK grid. So next in next video we will see it. And thank you, thank you guys. Thank you one and all.